It is our desire that we should be able, with the Lang Pelican Football Challenge, to be able to go regional as well, in other islands, across the region. But these are early days, and I've also always learned that you must creep before you can walk. So in the circumstances, I have distinct pleasure this morning to launch formally the Lion Pelican Football Challenge Barbados 2011. And to say to you that it is intended that this be an annual semi-professional competition between September and November. We have received the appropriate sanction and blessings from the Barbados Football Association. It is an out season tournament. But it is distinctive in that it is one going to have a prize of a hundred thousand Barbados dollars winner takes all, which is four times greater than any prize ever offered to a football team in the history of this country. In addition to that, we will be leveraging the fact that players and owners will be paid for each game and therefore they have a duty to be disciplined, to be professional, and to ensure that we give the patrons who come to the games the best possible football experience that they can have in this country. We do hope that the staging of this tournament will also have spillover benefits to football generally in Barbados. And in that context, I'm happy that we have the blessings of the President of the Barbados Football Association who has graciously agreed to be with us next week at our launch when we do the draft. The competition will run from the 11th of September to the um, end of November. Um, we are trying to confirm dates. We are hoping to be able to carry the finals to, and the semi-finals to Kensington over because we believe that a competition of this type will attract the support, particularly to see who really, who really among their men, and then footballers will win that hundred thousand dollars. And that's really what it is about. Will, who will hone their skills in a team to be disciplined, professional, and skillful enough to win that competition? And we have every confidence that it will capture the imagination of the Barbadian public. We've already had meetings with some of the team owners and a number of the footballers, and the feedback has been positive. We've had to run some ads in order to get some of the footballers to register, and therefore a buzz has started on the ground already. But we are confident that in trying it out this year, we don't expect perfection in the first year, but we expect that we can learn and continue to build a tournament both for Barbadians and Caribbean people that will get stronger and stronger and give opportunities to men who play football who might otherwise find themselves marginalized because of their inability to find the appropriate niche for their skills and their efforts in this country. You can now see yourselves arriving at a people certified field dressed all the same way as you see your, 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 your professional players from Chelsea, Arsenal, etc. arriving to their football games, there's no level of professionalism that we are all proud to be part of. The group stages at this point in time are all scheduled to be played at Paradise Park. Some may say Paradise Park, where's Paradise Park? It's commonly known as the Lazaretto, but I can tell you that it's been officially renamed to Paradise Park. So that is where the football is being played, Paradise Park. You can let your friends know it's the Lazaretta, but we officially call it Paradise Park. And that name, Paradise Park, again, lends back to what we want to achieve within our sporting program at the University of the West Indies. We want our players to be in the most comfortable facilities so that they can produce the best results. And where else to do that than in Paradise? The BFA has been very supportive of the tournament thus far. As a matter of fact, uh, all of our press releases have mentioned um, some participation by the BFA, whether it's to uh, uh, be the venue for collecting forms, registration forms, or um, uh, giving um, additional information to the players and the owners. Uh, it should be said, though, that to play in the tournament, uh, all the players must 
we see a clear certificate from the BFA. Uh, this certificate can only be made um, obtained from the BFA. And also there are a list of players who will find themselves um, not eligible to play in this competition because of some disciplinary matters. Some are actually suspended from football and others have not attended meetings of the disciplinary committee. But the BFA has given a list which um, we can make available uh, as well as yeah, we want to work with the university as I said in every aspect and I'd like to be able to put on some lectures the lectures will arrange um, on training sessions and the, the necessity for discipline um, the art of winning the importance of nutrition the critical um, need to save because at the end of the day people don't save for the future sportsmen have short shelf lives largely because they are prone to injury and therefore sportsmen more than any other artist should be saving more, quite frankly. Um, and then, of course, media management. Every football player and owner should be able to stand up in front of a microphone and speak sufficiently, whether in Barbados or any other part of the world. So Pelican is not only about, yes, having the high payoff for football, but it is also about the total development of the owners and the total development of the players. And to that extent, we hope that we will be able to offer a critical difference in the manner in which we do business by making seminal changes for the lives of the hundreds of young men who will eventually be involved. And we're not really not women's football in the end either. So we're starting with this, we're trying to think, and we move from there. There will also be audience prizes every week and there will also be a general football text and quiz that we will be doing for line. Obviously the audience prizes are limited to those who attend the game and while I won't announce them now, suffice it, suffice it to say in this environment there will be prizes that people will want. So uh, I hope that because you're going to be an invested person in this great game that you will want to say but if I'm going to be grooming talent for this hundred hundred thousand dollar payoff next next year, maybe I should start putting some some cash into fixing up fields, gear, making sure that the guys are e eating well, and so on all through the year. So I'm going to choose really good good players. To the to the players, time for Sky, Sky Larkin is done. We have a great set of, set of talent, but that talent is vol vol voluntary. If I choose to play this week, I can play this week. If I ain't able to play, I can play. There's money riding on it. Your teammates are depending on you to earn the cash. We're going to change the way that people think about their bodies and their minds and the game that they play. The sharing of that prize could really be given to the people who are actually in that game that for the first time you will have 220 or even more because I mean people may have 15 on a team or whatever how much ever they really wanted a lot of our youth playing in an active sport that they could share the, the prize in and that from all over the place businessmen people who think they're business, businessmen consortia with sponsored um, team, and in my mind, I thought that what would that that would create was this buzz that says we can do, we will do, and that for once in our life, that the winner does really take all. Too often, I think we have prizes going down to seventh, seventh place, and eighth place, and twelfth. 14th every every everybody gets the prize for this one if you if you win a hundred thousand dollars in your hand <laughs> <laughs> if you if you lose come back again next 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 year and that is a very strong message for us that there's great reward in winning and in being the best
And I thought that that was a message that we would want our, our business to be linked up to. Also, how do we ga galvanize thousands? Now, I would in, in, invite you to imagine, if you think four months from, from now or less, on the final night, $100,000, two, two teams playing. Can you imagine the crowd that is going to be there? If there is one thing that Bajans like, is to see a ball, 12, 12 men on each team, and $100,000. You can't get the better deal than that. It is going to be glorious. For our company, the association with that image, the image of excellence, fun, excitement, lightheartedness, -hearted but serious play, is something that we thought we could not pass. And after